Okay, y'all, coming up next, I'm going to show you how to make Chex Mix and put it in the smoker. It's yummy. It's tasty. So, y'all, come on back. Hi y'all, I'm Kim Moses. Welcome to my test kitchen. Today we're going to make Chex Mix from scratch. And instead of using the season salt like the recipe calls for, just throw in your favorite rub. And then we're going to pop it on the smoker. Yes, the smoker. So y'all come back and we'll get to prepping. So I have all the ingredients to make the Chex Mix from scratch. Corn uh, Chex, rice Chex, sweet Chex. Sweet Chex being my favorite. Uh, mixed nuts. I'm going to put in some Cheez-Its and also some pretzel sticks. And instead of the season salt, I'm going to use Killer Hogs, the barbecue rub. Instead of the season salt, garlic powder and onion powder. Melt it in with the butter. So let's just get to throwing this stuff together. Okay, so I'm not really a measure kind of type of girl, so I just kind of throw it in. It calls for three cups of each cereal. I use about a half of the big box. I make a lot of noise and toss this in the tin. That was the rice chips. Here comes the corn chips. Like I said earlier, the wheat checks is my favorite, so we're going in with the whole box. Alright, start the sticks, just eyeballing it. Make sure to leave enough room to mix this all up because you're going to do this on the smoker just like you would in the oven by every 15 minutes taking it out and um, stirring it and getting it coated nicely. Mix nuts. And cheese. Y'all come back. I'm going to get the sauce ready um, and then we'll get everything done and get it on the smoker. So I have all the ingredients in here, the cereal, the crackers, the mixed nuts, the pretzels, all of that. I've melted some butter. Again, not much for following recipes. I like it a little saucy. So now I will measure the Worcestershire sauce because if you get out of control with that, it can get a little funky. So... I'm going to do probably, for this size batch, probably about four tablespoons. There we go. Okay, so uh, I'm also, instead of the season salt and garlic, uh, garlic and onion powder, I'm going to use... Killer Hogs, the barbecue rub. It's really tasty and I think it's just gonna add a, a good flavor to this. So the recipe calls for one and a half tablespoons of season salt, three quarter tablespoons of garlic, salt, or onion salt. And basically it's like two and three quarter tablespoons of your mix, your rub. Again, use whatever kind of rub you wanna use. I'm just going to eyeball this three quarters of a tablespoon, and now we have it. And we're just going to get this mixed in. If you want to taste it, stick your finger in there as long as the butter's not still hot. 
just give it a taste. If you want to adjust the flavors, adjust the flavors. Sometimes I will add a little bit of hot sauce like Frank's or Tabasco, but this, the, the barbecue rub has a little bit of heat to it, so I'm not going to do that today. All right, so this is all dissolved up. And we're just going to drizzle this on. Put about half of it on there and give it a good mix. Y'all are just going to be amazed at the flavor of this when it comes off the smoker. It's it's so unusual, but it is so good, and I don't think I'll ever do Chex Mix in the oven again. So that on there, get all that goodness in there. Get it all nice and mixed in. Arranging on the drum smoker, so come back and we will get this on the smoker. All right, I'm just popping it back on the smoker. Get that smoke rolling all around that Chex Mix. That's gonna be some yummy stuff, y'all. off of the smoker. This is the first 15 minutes. It already smells amazing. Like, I just want to eat it, but not yet. So I'm just going to give it a good stir. ready to go back on the smoker for the next 15 minutes. Do this every 15 minutes for an hour and then you're done and you're ready to enjoy some smoked Chex Mix. Yes. All right guys, so we are done with the Chex Mix, the smoked Chex Mix. Yes, smoked. It's been on for an hour. I started every 15 minutes. About halfway through I did add some more of Killer Hogs, the barbecue rub. And I'm just gonna give it a final stir and give it a taste and just see how it is. So the first time I did this, I used hickory. This time I used cherry. I've got something else on the smoker that I wanted to use cherry for. I can already tell it's got a different, a little bit different smell. Probably going to have a little bit different taste, but I'm sure it's going to be just dandy. So, I gotta get my favorite piece of the cereal the, the wheat. The wheat checks is the bomb. Mm. That is so good, y'all. I just cannot believe the difference in the flavor of doing this on the smoker versus doing it in the oven. I've even done it in a pellet smoker, which you don't get quite the smoky taste to it, but it's still better than doing it in the oven. So, just to recap, just wheat checks, corn checks, rice checks, squirrel, mixed nuts, pretzels, Cheez Its, your butter and Worcestershire sauce with whatever kind of rub you want to do instead of, in place of the seasoned salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. On the smoker at 220, 225, stir it every 15 minutes, just like you would if you're doing it in the oven. 
Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. We want to hear from you. See the description below for details and helpful links to what we covered today. Hit that notification bell so you are alerted when we publish new videos. Check out our website at motherofsmoke.com for the latest things we are working on. Have a blessed day and keep smoking.